Hellions? Good morning. All right. It is a, it's another BEA beautiful day outside and we are headed out to mail a letter, get some coffee, and we have our first business appointment of the day. This is weird. I usually don't pull in. I usually, I usually always back in. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because when you pull up to a parking spot, a driveway or whatever, you are totally aware with everything. You can see everything. You can see people, you can see all around you. So it makes more sense to back in then. When you get out in the morning, you can just pull straight out because you can see everything. But, but if you pull straight into a driveway and then in the morning when you go to leave, you are not aware of your surroundings. You don't know if somebody on a bicycle is flying by or somebody with a ball, some kid with a ball, you know, you, you don't know. Sorry, a little tangent. I don't want to speak too soon because if I say that everything that could have gone wrong today has gone wrong, well, that's not entirely true. And that's never true. That's never true in any day. It just kind of seems like that when, when you have a day to where you're just overwhelmed and stressed and a lot of things just aren't working out the way that you would hope or anticipate. That's where I'm at today. It's been a very... Uh, <laughs> it's a very been a very challenging, difficult day. <sighs> but we're getting through it. We're getting her done. And uh, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Knock it out. Move on to the next. So right now, I am headed to walk the hill simply because um, it's a nice spring day. The smell of spring is in the air. The sun is out. The birds are singing and uh, walking is good for you, and it's also good for your mind. Um, oh, which, which, I would love to give a very personal shout out to Brian Head. You guys have heard me uh, talk about them before uh, in the comments, uh, Brian and Misty Head um, of uh, Haunt Review. Man, he just got through kicking but, and I can't remember exactly how much, but it was over 100 pounds. It was like 160, 146, 187. It was some astronomical amount of weight that he has lost because he freaking did it. Man, he buckled down and he did it. Stayed active, and I haven't talked to him, so he can post it in the comments down below, but I'm imagining stay active, get active, and eat better and not eat as much and that's the key that's all you have to do and and if you guys are looking to lose weight and get healthy don't expect things to happen overnight because they don't they don't happen overnight it takes a lot of hard work I mean the 50 pounds that I had put on that didn't happen overnight that happened over a period of like four five six seven years well maybe five five or six years and um you just have to have some dedication and know that you can do it. You can do anything. If you can sit there and go in one direction, you can sit there and go in the other direction. So anyway, uh, that's my piece. Congratulations to Brian. I'm so, um, I'm so excited for you. And you must feel better and be able to move better, be able to bend over and tie your shoes. <laughs> that was one of my big things. It's like <gasps> bending over and tie my shoes. Oh man, that was hard. But anyway, uh, we got it done, so. Okay, see, look at this. Positive spin on an otherwise crappy day. <laughs> what is this? What's this? What's this? This would be a broken windshield and trim from a car with some interior pieces that somebody just dumped there. Huh. Anyway, walking the hill. <sighs> Sun is shining. I'm sure there's birds chirping. Can't hear them over the sound of the kids at the school, but I'm sure there's birds out here somewhere. The sun is going down. I am uh, clearing my job right now. This is actually a recheck from the diagnostic I did yesterday, which drives me crazy because it was basically cut and dry yesterday. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. Let me just say that um, doing the right thing is not always the easy thing, but when you do the right thing, number one, you can sleep at night. 
Number two, it feels good most of the time. And uh, number three, depending upon who you're dealing with, um, good efforts and doing the right thing um, is sometimes rewarded. And I've just made, uh, I think, a, a, a really good client. I followed through with what I had to do and and they were awesome. So, uh, gonna get back home. I still have a, a job I have to go out and finish tonight. It's uh, starting to get dark, so I'm gonna estimate that it's almost six. It's probably six-ish. Ah, 5.55, look at that. Hi, Buffy. Hi. So many things that I'm finding. Look at this. This is uh, Elementary School Outstanding Responsibility Award. I can't remember what I had outstanding responsibility for, but I don't know. Oh, this is... <laughs> Actually, both of these. I've got two trophies in here. Two trophies from T-Ball. This one is from 1982. <laughs> both of these were Snowflake Awards. <laughs> we didn't win, we probably came in last, but we still got a trophy. Participation. Look at this, my old uh, Boy Scout or Cub Scout uniform. Look at that. Highly decorated, look at that. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Ooh, Pinewood Derby champion second place. I didn't know that I got second place. I totally forgot about that. What's, what what I want to show you? Oh, yes, this. Okay, so my grandma is from England, or was from, well, I guess she still is from England. She's, she's dust now, but her dust is from England. And I miss her. Anyway. English coins mom brought from England for Troy, October 1977. Curious to see what's in here. Besides coins, I'm just curious to see what they are. Because I do have what I thought was a hay penny. I always ask my grandma because you know, the old uh, story, um, uh, if you haven't a penny, then a hay penny will do. If you haven't a hay penny, then God bless you kind of thing. Oh, you, she just got through doing something cute, but she stopped. Um, so anyway, I always asked my grandma about a hay penny, and it was a half a penny. And uh, she had given me one. It was actually just a New England penny, but I'm curious to see uh, to see what these are. Man, I'm getting old. I have to take my glasses off to see stuff up close. Uh, 1969, Queen Elizabeth, New Pence, 10 cents. A new penny, 1971. A new pence, five cents, 1969. And another new pence. Oh, so you guys born, 1975. Wow, that's kind of neat. Wow, that's so neat. Okay, now we know what was in the envelope, what coins were in there. That's neat. <laughs> Ow, my eye. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I've been going through my stuff. You guys know this. And I found this. And I remember that my cousin had these strips. These Listerine strips. So I tried to, like, un like run my fingernail over this and, like, pull this apart. I'm like, well, that's not working. Well, and then I remembered, like, you press a button. And it kind of like, you know, kind of makes the strip come out and then you put it on your tongue. So what do I do? I'm like looking at this and I push this down. Yep, you guessed it. That's what it's supposed to do. Oh, this is old. I should have done that either. Anyway, I got it right in my eye. I was looking at it. I'm like, huh, it right in my freaking eye. I Listerined my eye. Oh man, that was horrible. Okay guys, so last night uh, there was no COC and I just kind of ended the vlog because eh, it was about this time last night and I was like, okay, I'm done with my day, I'm going to bed. <laughs> so now, 24 hours later, I'm still at the point of like, oh my gosh, I just want to go to bed. Oh, first comment of the night. Um, actually, we're not going to do the first or the last comment of the night. I'm going to consolidate everything and do witty, funny, Things that stand out comments. Caber Fuzzy Ears, you said, the first audiobooks talking about the record player. That's funny. Oh, Pinky the Cat, I'm sorry that your job didn't work out, but wish you luck. I'm wishing you luck on your uh, on your new one. 
Halloween fur, you were uh, sick the day before yesterday and you stayed home. I always hated that. That's why I would I would still go to work. I, I know it's horrible. To school or work sick. <sighs> because I didn't want to have to make stuff up and, and fall behind. Nicole Flynn, you had the red turntable when you were little. That's awesome. And uh, you wouldn't be able to go anywhere near the spider infested car. Yeah, it was pretty nasty. I didn't see any live spiders. Everything was dead, but still. Ugh. Ralph and Jason, I had some of those record books too. I so completely forgot about them that it took a minute to even start to remember I had them. That is a blast from the past, holy cow. Well good, I'm glad that uh, I was able to uh, spark that memory. Memories are awesome. Emerald Gypsy Heart, oh my gosh, I read your story about your blowout on I-5 and having a police escort. That's That sucks, but it's cool. Tony Fredrickson, you just brought up your wintering plants from the basement. Awesome. Alohalara. I had one of those. I played my Lady and the Tramp over and over. LJ Mike 1204 Strange CD player you have there. <laughs> and Carrie Ann Olson, I don't really do anything special for spring. So yesterday's vlog, Phoenix reacting to the record player. Uh, K Bear Fuzzy Ears, wish you guys good luck. Oh yeah, because I told you guys that, that, that we're going to be going to Montreal. Nick, Gerald, Troy, are you planning to sell your old toys or just hold on to them for your grandkids and beyond? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting rid of stuff. Um, except the stuff that Phoenix has interest in, I'm going to keep that and let him uh, play with it. Mr. Bro, are you guys getting married in Canada too, so both countries can ag acknowledge your marriage? Uh, no, just America, but it will be acknowledged in both countries. <laughs> you also say, uh, there's a million, there's like a million, bro. I was surprised when Phoenix said that, uh, and you say, can't wait till something awesome happens, and he says, dude. <laughs> Chris Crouchman, hey Troy, good luck with the trip. We've all been waiting for the next part of your journey. Just awesome that we can be with you both and share your excitement with you. Yeah, no matter what happens this weekend, this week, um, it's going to be epic, and there's probably going to be a little bit of feels in there. <laughs> uh, ben Massey, have you been through the new viaduct? No, the tunnel, I have not. Kerry and Olsen, they should deal with abandoned buildings first rather than knocking down trees. That sure would be nice. And you also say, uh, B-E-A-U-tiful, a reference to, uh, I think you said Evan, um, but it's uh, Bruce Almighty. All right, guys, I'm going to bed now. Thank you so very much for watching. Happy haunting. And, uh, oh, uh, Phoenix took two pictures. I didn't include them yesterday, uh, but he took two pictures yesterday that he wanted me to include in the vlog. So here they are. No music or anything. We're just going to do two pictures, and I'll see you tomorrow.